In this video, we're going to learn how to do average rate of change, and I'm going to show you how to do it three different ways, from a graph, from a table, and from an equation. So average rate of change is really slope. It's the change in y over the change in x. Now, because we're going to be dealing with different functions, such as polynomial functions, there's no slope because a slope only pertains to a line. But we're going to be using the same formula, except we call it average rate of change. So y1 and y2 are going to go on the top, you're going to subtract them. x1 and x2 are going to go on the bottom, and you're going to subtract those. So from a graph, find the average rate of change on the interval negative 2 to 0. So that means that negative 2 and 0 are my x values. So negative 2, here's my point. I have the point negative 2 comma 20 and then 0 here's my point I have the point 0 comma negative 5 so if you need to you can label these as x1 y1 x2 y2 but you don't have to so y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so negative 5 minus 20 over 0 minus negative 2. That's the setup. Then I'm going to go to my calculator. Remember, if you hit alpha y equals and then enter, it'll set up a fraction for you. So now you can type this right in exactly as you see it on your paper. Negative 5 minus 20. Hit my down arrow to go to my denominator. 0 minus negative 2. And I get negative 25 over 2. which is an acceptable answer, or if you wanted to, you could hit math, decimal, and it will give you it as a decimal, negative 12.5. And either answer is acceptable. So that's from a graph. Average rate of change from a table. Find its average rate of change on the interval 2 to 6. So once again, those are my x values, 2 and 6. So in my table, when x is 2, y, or h of x in this case, is 9, because remember, this is my x, and that's my y. And then I have 6, 3. So I always like to list out the points first. And then, like I said, if you need, write out your x1, y1, x2, y2. Here's my formula once again. So I have 3 minus 9 over 6 minus 2. Go to my calculator. Alpha y equals enter. 3 minus 9. Hit my down arrow. 6 minus 2. So I get negative 3 halves, which is acceptable. But as a reminder, if you want math, go to decimal. And there is your decimal answer. So negative 3 halves or negative 1.5. And that's average rate of change from a table. Lastly, let's look at average rate of change from an equation. Find the average rate of change of h of x equals negative x squared minus 3x plus 2 on the interval negative 1 comma 2. So you have two options here. You can substitute. So I can do h of negative 1 equals negative negative 1 squared minus 3 times negative 1 plus 2. And I can type that into the home screen of my calculator. And I would get 4. And then I would have to do the same thing with h of 2. But you also have another option. You can go to your calculator. You can go to the y equals, clear out anything if you have it in there, and type in the entire equation. Negative x squared minus 3x plus 2. And now I can go to my table by hitting second graph. And you see a table of values. Well, this table of values, if you copy it down, is just like when we did the example from a table. So, 
y, here's my table of values, I do the same thing I did before. Negative 1, 4, and 2, negative 8. So this way might be a little bit shorter for you, and it might be a little bit easier because you don't have to worry about parentheses or negatives. So y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1, label them if you need to. So I have negative 8 minus 4 over 2 minus negative 1. Back to my calculator, second quit to get back to the home screen. Alpha y equals, enter, negative 8 minus 4, 2 minus negative 1. And negative 4 is my average rate of change. So remember, average rate of change is really just slope. It only has a different name because we're not always dealing with lines. So we're using that slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1.